Yeah, we got that 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 Yeah, we got it's 34 times. Exactly. What's 34 times 2, my boy? It ain't 200. That's 2. It ain't, it, huh? It ain't 2 nothing. It ain't even $100. $68. What about you? Huh? See, I see, look. See? You give me one, two. What, they $2 a piece? Dollar each. Dollar each, I ain't bet. You gotta use your head, man. You got that. You trying to play, but I was gonna bless you anyway. You'd have got the 200. Now you got two dollars. Y'all be good. Look. Look, they pissed. Look, they got me. Up. <laughs> 200. Man, this is not a. Put my bankroll back in the bag. Look, they got me. Oh, I used to sell candy too. They got nobody. They asked all the teachers. I was killing candy elementary school. Well, the baby was trending online earlier in the day as a video went viral of the baby talking to a couple youngins who was selling some candy. They were clearly trying to overcharge the baby. And a lot of people think these type of stories end with the baby just saying, fine, I'll pay whatever because I'm rich. Whatever y'all, whatever number y'all throw out there, I'm gonna pay it because I'm the baby. The baby was like, nah, let's make this a teachable moment. Since y'all lied to me about the price points and y'all tried to plug me, I'm gonna pay for one bar of candy. So the baby ended up giving both the, the youngins two dollars a piece, and people are mad online saying, "Yo, the baby, you could have still threw him something because you the baby and you got it. You rich, whatever." I'm gonna play a clip from the baby who actually was at Complex doing an interview, uh, and he explained what happened during this incident. Check it out. You think there's an important lesson there? Like when you try to be greedy, you'll block your blessing? Absolutely. That's exactly what happened. Well, anytime I buy something from somebody hustling like that, like I buy the whole thing, especially when it's kids. So I give them the opportunity to just make it make sense why you want $200 right. for this. You tell me, man. I usually charge somebody this for the whole box. I'm just going to charge you $2 all the way down. And I'd have looked at them, gave them $1,000. But I respect they hustle. I ain't cuss them out and this and that. I gave them knowledge and bought one piece of candy from each of them and closed the door. Yeah, I think this is a teachable moment. You know, if you got a celebrity in your sight and, and he's willing to give you a time and you think you're going to make a lick off of him, maybe some of the youngins would be better off just keeping it honest. Like, yo, here, I'll take anything you can give me. Because I do feel like, you know, some of the youngins, especially the Atlanta water boys, are, are getting beside themselves nowadays. It's like, yo, I deserve instead of I'm appreciative of. Now, my only thing, my only pushback with the baby is like, yo, clearly somebody recorded that from inside of your, your whip, your sprinter, and clearly it got posted to your social account. I feel like something like that could have been kept between the baby and the kids that he was with. But, you know, the baby opted to put it online. And again, that's his decision. It's his money. It's all his, right? My only thing is if you're saying it's a teachable moment for the kids, you could have kept that internal instead of posting it on your socials and in, in some form or fashion kind of embarrassing the kids. Like the lesson to the kids, I think that's great. But making it a lesson to the public about the kids, uh, just, you know, I would have passed on that one. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment box below, though. The baby opts to give the kids $2 a peach for each uh, candy bar instead of giving them the couple hundred dollars that they thought they were going to get from the baby because he's a rich celebrity. Y'all let me know. Comment box below. I'm out.